another episode of Fast Pace Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up SFTP for Azure Blob Storage. I have already created a resource group called SFTP, which I'm going to use to do this demo. Now, the first thing we need to do, obviously, is to create a storage account. I'm going to name it uh, SFTP Demo123 just to be safe. Uh, the region is US is fine for me. I'm going to go with standard or general purpose v2 for the performance. And uh, for the redundancy, I'm going to go with locally redundant storage. I'm just doing a demo, so I'm not worried about the durability. Um, I'm going to choose the cheapest one. Now, under advanced, if you scroll down, you'll see this option, enable SFTP. At the time of recording this video, this feature is still in preview, so be mindful of that if you want to use it in a production environment. But as it says here, in order to enable SFTP, you should first enable hierarchical namespace, or essentially turn this storage account into a data lake. Same thing applies if you want to use NFS v3. And then I'm going to go to networking. Actually, I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm going to go right to review and create, and then create a storage account. There are a few ways for you to uh, work with Azure storage accounts. One of them is a REST API. You can use the SDKs that are available for different programming languages, and you can also use tools like AZ Copy. But then there are some old and legacy workloads that are still using FTP and SFTP, and uh, using this feature, you can move those workloads to the cloud and then easily just hook it up to the storage account. And then you are benefiting from all the um, great features that come with Azure storage accounts, such as durability, scalability, availability, security. You can use features like versioning, lifecycle management, um, you know, different access tiers that are available to you, um, and all of the you know, good stuff. Now that our storage account is created, if I scroll down under settings, you'll see the option SFTP. Now the first thing we have to do, first of all, you can, you can disable it here if you choose to. Uh, but the first thing we should do is to create a local user. Let's give it a name, SFTP, sorry, FTP admin. I'm gonna name it if we can actually type it, okay. And then I'm going to go with password. You can also go with SSH Keeper. But for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to just use a password. This password will be created for me automatically. It's going to be a strong and secure password. You should choose a container that you want to, uh, you know, uh, kind of uh, use as the, um, as the back end. Or you can create one here. So SFTP demo again. Let's create. I'm going to make it private. And then here you select the permissions. Whatever you want, I'm gonna go with all. And if you uh, don't put anything for the home directory, it's gonna be the root of that folder or the container. The password is created for me. I'm gonna close this, I'm not gonna use it, but I'm gonna uh, copy this one, which is the connection string, and then go to a notepad and paste it there. Now this is the endpoint or the host of the SFTP server. As you can see, SFTP demo123 is the name of our storage account. Then that I have to replace this with the container name, container name, sorry, SFTP demo. And this is our user. At sign, this is the full, fully qualified domain name that comes with the storage account when you create it. Now I'm gonna copy the whole thing and I'm gonna open FileZilla which is my preferred FTP and SFTP client that you can use to connect to uh, an SFTP server. Then I'm gonna click here and then create a new site. So as I said, the protocol is gonna be SFTP. FTP is not supported, only SFTP is supported. Then the host is this that they just created together. Login type normal is fine. User, uh, the user is actually this. So it's not just the SFTP admin. The whole thing is going to be your user. Paste it here. 
I'm gonna go to the portal, regenerate the password, and then copy it here, paste here, and click on connect. It is going to ask me uh, if I trust the host. I say yes, always trust this host, and okay. And now as you can see, I'm connected. I can here either copy files or even I can create a new file. Let's call it test.txt. And then I can right click and go to view edit and update the content of the file. It's a test file. Close, save, and then upload. And now let's go back to the portal, the containers, the SFTP demo, and you can see the file is uploaded here. If I click on it, go to edit, you'll see that the content of the file is also uh, updated. That was it. Hope you learned something new today.